Hey everyone, welcome back to another Painting with Jay. As always, my name is Jay, so grab a brush, grab some paints, grab some models, and paint along with me. Let's rid our world of unpainted models. Today I'm going to work on five Stern Guard models for my Dark Angels Glow Up project. They're coming along, and I'm just going to talk about life and keep working hard on them. Huge shout out to Cody Rue, of course, and uh, let's get started, shall we? Mm -hmm. Hey everyone, welcome back to another Painting with Jay. So today I'm going to be working on these um, Sterngard, which I've been working on the last couple days. As you can see, I'm just slap chopping them. I'm not the biggest fan of how the cloaks turned out, but I'm going to highlight them up today as well, probably, and see how far I get. I've already pretty much uh, painted most of them. Uh, they're, they're good. I'm going to paint the silvers first, and then the golds, and then we'll go from there. Maybe I'll, I'll do a shade of the silvers first before... Uh, proceeding to the golds, but either way, let's get these guys painted. They're looking good, and it's just him. Yeah. So, hope all your summers have gone well. It's technically still summer. It is still summer. I know that. But, uh, it feels like autumn. You know that as soon as September hits, that pseudo autumn feeling that, you know, pumpkin spices everywhere. Of course, like Costco has already had Halloween stuff out for months and it already has Christmas stuff out and whatever. You know, it's still, it's still summer for another uh, few more days, but a week left of summer. So that's cool. Here where I live, it's uh, about to be a hurricane. We're getting a hurricane this weekend, tomorrow. So in my free time where I've not been painting, I've been basically batting down the hatches and uh, preparing the house, you know, bringing everything inside that I possibly can. And that way it, uh, has a minimal effect, but it's going to be pretty crazy here for a day and a half, probably. So I figured I'd paint, do my painting with Jay tonight. I was going to do it on the weekend, just because I figured I had the time, but then the storm, I don't want to... Here, I'm just going to mark my hand. There we go. Actually, I moved my hand out of the camera. There we go. That yeah, looks good. Um, I have a couple models on the stands right now, so I'm just going to paint holding it like this awkwardly for the whole video. <laughs> That's okay. It's going to be a crazy storm. So we'll see how that goes. Maybe my next week's painting with Jay will be about the storm. And saying, hey, this is how the storm was. Overall, it was a good summer. It was a rainy, rainy, rainy summer. We got more precipitation this year than I think our previous several years combined, it feels. But uh, it's okay. You know, my lawns never looked so good. Right? I uh, didn't play as much golf as I was hoping to this year just because the rain was so heavy at times and the course I play with um, closes when it rains. I've gotten some painting done, which is good. Right? The, uh, when it's crappy weather, I paint. That's always good. Yeah. So... See the silver lining in there? There we go. Perfect. So yeah, I'll let this one dry and I'll hit the rest with, uh, let's start shading. Get some non-oil going. Talk about the summer. It's, been, it's a pretty uneventful summer. It's it's not been the, the craziest summer. Um, of course, the newest edition came out. I decided to start making a few videos again, which has been, it's been really fun. I've been having a great time making videos again, and yeah, it really has been awesome. I'm loving it so far. Um, what else? Oh, there's my non oil. It 
it's been really good. I've just been adventuring. I went to a country music festival. That was cool. And the hot, coincidentally, the hottest day of the summer here. That was pretty funny. The hottest two days of the entire summer. I was at a country music festival. It was cool. I was in Chris Stapleton. And I'm going next year. It's uh, called the Cavendish Music Festival in Cavendish, Prince Edward Island. Prince Edward Island, for those who aren't Canadian, tiny little island province. And the, there's two ways of getting to it. There's a 15, there's basically a 10 mile bridge that you can take to it called the Confederation Bridge because PEI was where Canada became a country. It's the birthplace of Confederation Canada. And so there's that bridge. Or you can take a, a boat. Uh, but the boat was closed. And the boat's from New Nova Scotia. The, the bridge is from New Brunswick. However, in both cases, it's free to go over there. And it's $50 to come back. Or the boat it might be more, even more. Uh, but the, the bridge is $50 as a toll. So they let you get over there for free, and then it's fifty dollars to come back. And for me, I always thought it was really funny that I figured the locals maybe didn't have to pay it. You know, maybe the locals didn't have to pay it because, you know, like usually, like locals when they have access to toll roads, they have you know preferred passes or or something or a discount. Nope, they pay it, <laughs> and it's a huge source of contention for the PEI people because they raise it most years. And then those PI people, every time they want to go to the neighboring province to even go shopping, which the Maritimes are all very close together. It's really cool here. I love the provinces. They're all really close together. You know, it's how uh, I have a lot of American friends. And the way that a lot of them describe jumping over to the next state to go shopping or go to an event, a sports game, or, you know, a concert, it kind of feels like that out here that I can drive an hour and a half and I have a choice between two other provinces, which is really cool. But, um, yeah, what was I saying? So it's a Cavendish. And so next year, the headliner is Zach Brown Band. I love Zach Brown Band. Uh, I've seen them once already. I saw them in Toronto years ago. Uh, but after seeing Chris Stapleton, my wife and I, we basically thought, okay, that was really fun. I don't know if we'd go back next year, but we'll see the wait and see the lineup, right? And we thought to ourselves, okay, what artists would we have to go back and see? Would we be like, okay, we're going to go back to Cavendish for sure to go see this artist? And one of them was Zach Brown. So the second they announced, I'm like, okay, that makes the decision really easy. Let's... Uh, Let's go. So we're doing that again. But I was able to book the, the tickets so far in advance, I was able to get better lodgings. Like, I got an Airbnb for next year and stuff. It's cool. So that's really awesome. Can't wait to see Zach Brown. And the other guy, uh, so far they've announced two of the three headliners. Zach Brown's one of them. The other one I'm not actually that familiar with. It's a, uh, what's it, Nathan uh, Childers? Tyler Childers? Nathan Childers? What's his name? Childers is the last name. Not really familiar with his, with his music, but people are very polarized about him. Some people love this guy. Uh, Childers. Childers. And other people are like, this is the greatest, you know, this is the greatest country musician ever. It's like a, but, you know, most people are too rock or pop country. This is pure country. And then the other people are like, who is this person? Why are they headlining a Saturday night? You know? But that's cool. I'm excited to see that person. I'll listen to the music a little bit. What else? I unfortunately waited too long in this tournament I wanted to sign up for. Uh, for... 40k. And where I live, it filled up. So I put myself on the wait list. We'll see if I go. Whoops. 
I said to make sure I was available that weekend. I guess I will be. Um, well, it's, that was really fun. Uh, I, I took my, my brother came and visited me, and I took him around the province as well, and around the Maritimes. It was really cool seeing him. But yeah, it's just been good. You know, I've been able to ride my motorcycle a little bit more than I, I... I intentionally tried to get my motorcycle out and about as much as I could this year. I've had my, my motorcycle for many, many years. Uh, it's a 1998 Honda Shadow, and I bought it in like 2000. I think 2002, I think, 2002, 2003, at most, and most of it was five years old when I bought it, and so I've been driving it, I love it, I love driving around the Maritimes, it is windy, and you do get used to that eventually, but it's just, it's beautiful to just drive along the coast of the ocean, and just, it's a relaxing drive, and when the sea air hits you, it's just, it smells great, and love it, there's some really good motorcycle, um, highways, and, and roads that people love to take their bikes on. It's really awesome. So, been loving that. Uh, again, when it hasn't rained, it's been a summer rain. Oops, dropped my guy. Uh, Adam, Adam, you, you missed a spot. Adam, you, you missed a spot. I've actually got no confirmation since coming back to film that Adam actually still watches these videos. <laughs> and I was thinking about that the other day. So Adam, you missed a spot, but hopefully you get this message. Now, for those, now, if those know Adam, please tell Adam that he missed a spot. And that, he, that they were told to tell him in this video. Look at that. They're coming along. I'm going to make the golds and highlight the cloak and... I love this. I love contrast paints. I love speed painting these models. I only started these guys yesterday. And it's just so nice how they... I gotta do an update video. Maybe next week I'll do an update video on my painting project, Operation Dark Angels um, Glow Up. At this point I should have about 15... I'm not that far in, unfortunately. I should have been farther along, but I just uh, didn't paint as much as I wanted to, which is okay. You know what? The great thing about slap chopping these models and getting them painted, and also just setting aside the time and painting with Jay, is that they're they're coming together really easily. And also, the Primaris models are really easy to paint, right? If I'm going to paint up an army quickly, Space Marines is the way to go. There we go. And... Yeah, they look awesome. They, they come kind of easy. What I did was I... Well, I'll mention this in my slap chop in my update video was I basically airbrushed all the models green that were green and, and brown that were brown. and So I saved myself a bunch of time. And these guys, what I did was I primed their heads white and I just covered them with some silly putty and then painted them green, right, with an airbrush. So I've saved myself tons of time so the, you know, the, prime, the primary color is already on all of my, I'm just gonna grab a random one. So like these are some of the guys I haven't started painting yet. As you can see, you know, so. But they're already base coated, just like the librarian is gonna be Deathwing colored. <laughs> you know, so that's cool. Saves myself a bunch of time, so I've already, you know, the rest of them painted. Some of them came off a little glossy, so I'm going to have to maybe hit them with a matte varnish or a satin varnish later. Especially the dreads. But, whatever. I saved myself a bunch of time. They're, co and I said, they're coming together really well. The t I started with the, the Terminators, obviously. As you saw last week, I was painting Terminators in my painting with Jay. I have the feeling that I'm getting the same consistent people every week, which is really cool. My painting with Jay crew. We're reading a world of unpainted models. By the way, huge shout out to Cody Roo as well. I miss Cody Roo. Hope to see him again one day. Yeah. But, um, I started with the Terminators, and the Terminators are basically done. I just, uh, I have like, some, I just have the banner. I didn't want to paint the banner in a painting with Jay. 
So I'll paint the banner on the uh, ancient in the next uh, couple of days. Get that done too. The rest of them are basically good to go. So I've done the ten terminate. So the the five Deathwing and the five Deathwing command squad members, basically, other than the banner. And I did paint and I cleaned up my. Um, Deathwing Knights, so they're good. They're done and ready for the tabletop too. So overall, it's been good so far. I've worked on 15 models of my 55, basically, that I needed to work on. And then after these guys, I'll be up to 20. So not too bad, not too bad so far. My whole goal is kind of by the end, by Halloween, it'd be really nice to have all these guys done. I don't know if I will. So I'm gonna paint, you know, sit down and paint whenever I can. And if I don't get it done by then, I'm not going to be mad at myself. It's just, it's a goal, but it's an artificial goal. If I take an extra week or so, or extra two weeks, who cares? You know, it's, um, yeah, it's okay. But the whole goal is to rid our world of unpainted models, and that's what I'm doing. That's what I'm doing. Now, the only thing is, of course, this year... I bought a lot of models. I bought a lot of models. Um, yeah. Because I bought the starter set and all my Operation Glow Up models and the new Tyranids that came in the starter set. So I literally purchased like 130 models this year, which I know is nothing compared to a lot of you out there in internet land, so I'm trying not to complain. Well, it's, I don't know if it's a complain necessarily because you got a, a lot more models. That's awesome. It's pretty cool, but I just don't. Um, I'm gonna take some brass scorpion now and start the base coat of the, of the golds. Um, I just don't. I didn't want to to finish the the year with more unpainted models than I started with, and the problem is because I purchased so many. Um, models this year, it looks like I'm going to have to finish the year positive for unpainted models, which is not cool. But if I get the foundation of my work, you know, if I get this, ooh, that's, um, clean that up. I'll clean it up. I just painted too much. I overpainted. The opposite of missing a spot. I painted a spot. So, that is in focus, I believe, isn't it? Now that I'm not using a monitor anymore, it's harder for me to keep track of where my model is relative to the camera. I think that's in focus. Yes, that is. Let's make sure that is right there. Perfect. Oh, no. Refocus. Perfect. So, yeah, if I get my, you know, this painting attitude back and I really just get excited for painting, which I have been lately, I've been really just excited. And obviously it comes and goes in waves. But winter time is my favorite time of the year to paint because there's really nothing to do outside. You know, you can go in the snow or the freezing cold temperatures in Canada, or you can paint. And so there's not, uh, outside isn't calling me as much in the winter as it is in the summertime and the spring and the fall. So I do tend to get more done in the winter relative to the other seasons. And that's good. Providing my painting mood, which I, I hope I am this year. That'd be cool if I am. We'll see. Maybe I'm painted up by that point. My whole goal is to actually have the basically the Tyranids done almost by the end of the year. I'll give myself a couple months for Tyranids. So, hypothetically, I could finish the year... If I painted the Tyranids, actually, I would be... Yeah, I'd finish the year negative. But barely. Like, by five or ten models. Uh, it's not... Uh, it's not... That's okay. I will. I think next year is actually the year I've done my... My gray body... My gray model count thing. My gray pile. We'll see.
We'll see. Next year, I'm just going to start paying orcs. Uh, orcs are going to be just a bunch of Gretchen. And I'll just slap chop them and paint them over a couple weeks. And that will represent the majority of my unpainted models. It's just I have like a hundred Gretchen. So. What else this summer? I don't, I didn't do a lot this summer. It was just fun. Enjoying the sights. Went whale watching once, as I said. So we saw a humpback whale, which is really cool. I mentioned that last time. Um, I've just been enjoying. Just relaxing, you know, and enjoying the summer. Um, going out when I can, going on walks, going... Enjoying the outside when it's not pouring rain. Mowing the lawn. A lot. I think I mowed, this lawn, mowed the lawn this year more than I've ever mowed a lawn. Yeah, I think I have. I mowed the lawn a lot this year. There we go. Cool. Not a lot of gold in these models. As I said, these slap chop and space marines go, comes together really quickly. Especially if you get the base color down. You know, it's it's been awesome. These guys were just base coated in green yesterday. And now I'm not, this isn't done yet, but if I took this to a tournament like this, you'd let me play with this model, right? Like, there's this is way more than three color minimum. It's not based yet, but basing won't be too hard. Yeah. Look at that. They're not looking bad at all. So as I said, not bad at all. But it doesn't take very long. I love Space Marines because that like they're an arm they're a fun army to paint. They are definitely a fun army to paint. I know people say that they're monotonous and they're boring, but it's just there's you get that sense of accomplishment so quickly with them, you know. Especially if you're just trying to mass paint a bunch of models. Oh, shoulder pad, shoulder pads. No, they don't. Have, oh, they do. I'm gonna go back. I missed a spot now. Hypocritical J. Still, somebody tell Adam he missed a spot. And uh, what else? Yep, motorcycling around the province when I can. Uh, I went to the beach a couple times. My wife really likes the beach, so cool. Um, what else? Started painting heavily again, which was great, and making videos, of course. Who knows what the autumn will be like? Here, autumn, where I live right now, autumn blows by really quickly, because it's like again, fall begins. Technically, September 21st or something, right? September 21st. But, that being said, it starts snowing here, usually in October. Usually, just like around Halloween, or just after Halloween, it's snowing. So you really only get like that month of autumn and like, you know, harvest and pumpkin spice and all that jazz. And then it's like snow. And then winter is here. So, you know, just uh, enjoy it while it's here. Because winter will be here before everyone knows it. That's it. My, <laughs> I should make my goal to have all these Space Marines painted before the uh, first snowfall. Let's see. That'll be my, my goal. Before the first snowfall. So I have to get these guys in the tabletop. Oops. That'll be cool. To have uh, all my Dark Angels painted again. 
Of course, then there's another Space Marine Codex in the near future. I don't know if I'll buy any of the cool new models, we'll see. Maybe not at first. It was really cool to see my brother. That was one of the highlights of my summer. Um, and also, um, my wife and I have always wanted to see this area of Nova Scotia. And we finally got to see it this year. Every year, we had three years in a row where it just, we planned it, and it never happened. It never happened. And just always something bad happened and we never got to so we did that so we went to the south um, the southern coast and the uh, the west coast of Nova Scotia it's beautiful beautiful area insanely good bakery near our Airbnb It was just beautiful. Unfortunately, Nova Scotia has been hit with a lot of bad things over the last little while. Of course, we're getting a hurricane. You know, Atlantic Canada's getting a hurricane this weekend. So, yay, more stuff. But uh, they had a terrible, terrible, terrible fire um, go through most of the province this year. Followed by, like a month later... Huge floods, huge amount of rain, huge floods. And so the same areas were hit by both fire and water. And when we went there, like you just, you're driving by and so much damage. So much damage. Wow. And he's done too. Cool. I will probably start highlighting, I think, because I can't. It's going to be too wet to hit with a shade. Uh, yeah, I think I'm going to start doing my highlight colors then right now and start and, uh, and then eventually I'll hit the um, the gold with a shade. When the silver's dry, I'll, I'll uh, highlight the silver up. Oh, sorry, still him. Of course, got to get this guy done too. So maybe by that point, yeah, the gold will be dry in most of them. Um, but it was beautiful. Just we, you know, we, we rented an Airbnb on the coast in Nova Scotia. There were like literally seals in front of the Airbnb in the water. They're such fun little playful little dudes. It's a beautiful. I love Atlantic Canada. I really do. It's such a beautiful area of Canada. I lived my whole life in Ontario, and I didn't travel very much. I, you know, I've traveled more. I feel in the last year or so, or two years around the provinces here than I ever did in Ontario. I just wasn't a very... I didn't uh, take vacations very often. I didn't travel a lot. That's okay. You guys are looking pretty good. I'd say so. Yeah, this is three color minimum for sure. Of course, I'm not gonna stop that. I did my first paint tutorial recently that I've put out in a while, long, long, long time. And it's gotten a few views, not a lot, but I didn't expect it to get a lot of views. Right now, I'm just having fun. I'm making videos. My viewership is low compared to what I used to do, but that makes a whole lot of sense. I've been out of the game so long, I'm an, I'm an OG, you know, and I hope to get myself back in this game, slowly but surely, no pressure, I'm not doing this for a living, I'm having fun, just making videos I want to make, enjoying myself, having fun. And that's what it's about. You know, these days now, there's so many people who used to who do 
today what I used to do, I tried to make a living off it, and it was fun. But our niche is very small. And one by one, they're all having that problem. I guess some of them, some of them still rise to the top, obviously. But I enjoy that I can just do this for fun, put out a video when I want, and still be a part of this awesome community. I miss, as I said, more than anything, I, just, I miss the community. I missed it so much. And it feels good to be back. You know, I get some views, I get some views, if not, cool. So far, my biggest video was the video, and I, I'm not the happiest that I, I, I still justify how I named the video. People say it was clickbaity, but I, in my head, it was the way I interpreted it, it as the GW bands, um, Warhammer Plus in Canada. And sure enough, my information was sound. And all of a sudden, Warmer Plus is now out officially. No, sorry. All of a sudden, the um, the app is no longer free, and I can't sign up for my Warhammer Plus subscription. I can't do it. I want to. I like the app. I like the. You watch a few video sessions. Pretty good. But I can't because I'm in Canada. That's okay. Maybe they'll solve it eventually. Maybe they'll give up. They still have Canada up on their, their list of countries, which is the weird part. So, oh, whatever. Maybe eventually they'll have it done. Look at that. I'm really happy with this guy. Cool. Look at that. So yeah, I'll let the gold dry for a moment. I'm going to then start highlighting up uh, just colors. Start doing my highlights, my edge highlights on these colors. And go from there. Let me grab my palette. And for this one, I'm going to use my, I think I'm going to use some dryad bark. Oops. <laughs> Sounds. Okay. Where's my dryad bark? Um, no, scrag brown. Scrag brown. That's what I wanted. Scrag brown, with a thin down with a little medium, and we'll highlight the uh, the leather areas. I love this wet palette. I should make a video. Maybe my next one will make a video of one of the next couple weeks. I'll make a video of the uh, any products I've picked up lately that I really like. Hmm. Like my Vortex mixer. Love it. Love the Vortex mixer. Cool. Got my my Scrag Brown. All done. And now let's highlight up the leather. 33 minutes into this video. Cool. See, by the end of this video, like these guys are pretty good. I'm going to have to, of course, build up the capes again. But it's not bad. Oh, wow, that color is very similar. Probably dry a little brighter. Yeah. Cool. As I said, these guys will be done well for next week's video. I actually just sl slow down because I decided that these were going to be my painting, to my painting with Jay models for this week, right? So I decided that, and. Then I just started painting them because I wanted to paint them, and I have to wait till nighttime to paint these guys. Just the lighting in this office 
Um, it's wacky at certain times of day. And so I start painting them. And I'm like, oh crap, gotta stop. Because... I'm gonna get too far. see. So I was getting too anxious and I was painting, not anxious, I was getting too happy, like painting happy with them, these guys. I was going, oh, like, oh shoot, I better stop myself because otherwise I'm going to have nothing to paint. But it was really beautiful just to check out the coast. We went to like Peggy's Co, Nova Scotia, and there's a lighthouse there. Very touristy. It is still, I always find it funny being a tourist in my, in my provinces because just you feel weird. That's okay. I'm not a big touristy person. I do love Adepticon, though. Um, it's the most touristy thing I do in a year. It's usually Adepticon, because everyone there is usually not from that area. Um, that was nice. I don't really have any more plans for this this year, to be honest. Um, no, I don't have anything else planned. I'm gonna keep painting. Enjoy the autumn. Uh, I'm gonna see if there's any like autumn fairs. There's not a lot here. They're mostly like summer fairs or exit, you know, the exhibitions. Uh, there's not a lot of fairs I've noticed. That's okay. I'll keep uh, keep my eyes out. Go do some fairs when I can. I love fair food. I want to do like a deep fried Mars bar. I want to try that. My friend had deep fried Mars bar the other day. And I'm like, oh. I want to try that. It sounds so dangerous. I want to try it. Not healthy at all. I did give up. Um, I don't think I've lost much weight this year, to be honest. But I'm... I did give up pop or soda for my American friends. I stopped buying it. I will occasionally drink it when I'm at a restaurant or something. But one day I re like, frick, there were these cookies that were so good this year that I got like, not addicted to, but I was buying them and eating them. These double stuffed Oreos, right? They're like amazing double stuffed Oreos, but they were like, Cookies and cream filling, double stuffed Oreos, and they're like amazing. They're the most Oreo Oreo that ever Oreoed, basically. And one day it just kind of hit me. I'm like, I wonder how many calories am I eating in these Oreos? And then, like, pop as well. I looked and I was like, wow, I'm consuming a lot of calories with pop every day, and which is not good for my teeth. My teeth are bad. I've had some dental problems lately. I have bad teeth to begin with, and so pop's not the best. Um, but, and then the Oreos, and I was like, you know what, I gotta stop. And so I literally stopped buying pop, stopped drinking pop at home. I don't drink a lot anyway, uh, anymore, obviously, but I stopped buying pop and I stopped drinking it and wow. And then you just, you feel crappy for a few days. You really feel just like crap and you're in withdrawal and it really affects you and you go, wow, like, is my body addicted to this or what? It really makes you think, like you feel almost like a, a drug addict, theoretically. Like, you know, they always, do, I don't, I've never done drugs, obviously, so I don't want to minimize what they've gone through, but the, the, um, how they're portrayed in like the media, and, like, you know, in movies and TV shows when they go through withdrawal, that's how you feel. That's how you feel. And you go, wow, this really has an effect on you. Sugar is such an addictive thing, you know? And I'm using the wrong brush for this one. I gotta use a thin brush because the details are pretty thin. Um, I'm just gonna use some Agrax Earth Shade and, and shade in the, uh, the golds. 
building back up after with some bright colors. Um, yeah, I felt like crap for a few days, and then it just it went, goes away, and then you feel better. I don't consume a lot of sugar on a given day anymore, which is nice. I, I said I haven't lost a lot of weight, maybe a few pounds. I do try to a little bit, be a little bit more active. Maybe I've gained some muscle. I have no idea, but I feel like I'm eating better, which is good. So that's always good. You know, we're not getting any younger people. I feel old sometimes, but I. It's been good. It's been really good. And then uh, when my brother came, he wanted, I asked him just, you know, is there anything I can pick up for you? Because for your stay here, just to make it as comfortable as possible. And he said, yeah, I can pick me up some pop. And I said, sure. So I bought it for the first time in like two and a half months. And I had one can of it. And it tasted so incredibly sweet. And I'm mean, not in a good way. Like it tasted, it was like sweetness, like success. No, it over sweetness. Like it just, it tastes it's so weird. Once you give it up on a daily basis, it tastes different when you drink it again. Leave comments if you know what I'm going through. But it's it's wacky. So, yeah, it's been in school. I gave up pop. That's my... One of my summer things. I'm not going back on it. My goal is to get in slightly better shape over the next little while. Because... I should be. Yeah. <laughs> Look at these guys. I'm really happy with this. Cool. Another one down. I said these are, they're coming along. I'm I'm very happy with the way that these these models are coming along right now. That's uh, I'll have them painted by the end of the weekend. Five more guys, one more squad, done. I'm pretty sure. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't think Dark Angels were in the lore allowed to take Stern Guard. I just don't remember them. Maybe for one of the editions, I remember. I don't remember them having Stern Guard. Maybe I'm wrong. Who was Stern Guard? Vanguard? I don't know. Vanguard veterans? I don't remember. Stern Guard veterans. I thought so. I miss some things about Ontario sometimes. I miss my friends. You know? I miss Jay's games and have everything close together. In the Atlantic provinces, things are far... Like, sorry. The provinces are, are small, but the... Um, everything that you need to do is f so far apart. So... Look at this guy. We're about 45 minutes in. Probably call it soon. I feel like I'm losing my voice today. Over usage, maybe. Painted the silvers, I painted the golds. Shaded the golds, shaded the silvers. I just got to do the highlights of the greens, the silvers. You know, said so build back up the yellow. It's going to be a few, you know, definitely a few minutes of highlighting for sure. Definitely a few minutes of highlighting. I'm going to start. Uh, yeah. I just don't know what color I want to do next. I'd really like to do the silvers and get them out of the way, but they're still drying. I'm looking at these models and they're. The shade isn't perfectly dry yet on this guy that I'm touching right now. Darn. 
Um, <laughs> put it inside. What should I do now? Reds. No, my red is all dry on my palette. Yeah, let's do it. Let's just start building up some of the cloaks for about 10 minutes. I'm going to take some Shabti Bone. Thin it down ever so slightly. Go from there. Uh, some contrast medium. No, contrast medium. Let me medium. And let's just start highlighting up some of these things. So they turn out. Yeah. Perfect. So, first of all, of course, the purity seals. Build them up a little bit more. I love the way the purity seals turned out. Probably because they're smaller. But I don't like the way that the cloaks turned out. They're a little too, I don't know, runny, in my opinion, or something. They just don't look good. That's okay. I will um, build up the color again and make them look better. Yeah, look at that. Makes it look cleaner. I agree. How are your painting products coming along? Leave comments in the comment section. Ooh, something ain't. Might be just old paint or something. Something started, uh... Hmm. Let's clean my brush thoroughly. Maybe I just got some paint on it or something? It's all of a sudden some red started bleeding through. It's not... what you want to see. Um... Leave comments in the comment section down below how your painting projects are coming along. How was your summer? Yeah, I'm really curious. I really do miss all of you guys. I'm just going to clean up these cloaks. There we go. Just cleans it up a little bit. And... Ah, whatever. They're not going to look the best. They won't look the worst, for sure. I'm thinning down these messes, these blobs. That looks better to me. It's a lot less blobby. A little more boring, but I'm going to come back with some uh, Screaming Skull after two. I'll do a few colors. I've saved so much time by slap chopping them that I can the great thing is you can kind of then dedicate yourself to a few details if you really want so if you really want to focus on the cloaks or the purity seals or the symbols or the armor you can it just uh, it's an easy way to give your models a little more love you know love it Cool. One down. Yeah. Look at these. I said it won't be the nicest look overall, but they're going to be improved. The cloaks. <laughs> cool.
One thing is it said the some of the models come kind of a little glossy. Stern Guard. They're cool. Can't wait to get them on the tabletop. That cleans them up a bit. As I said, I probably they're not gonna they're not gonna be the my favorite part of these models. But it's all good. I'm uh I'm happy with them. They're gonna be tabletop quality for sure. Yeah, this is crazy. I'm uh, really happy. Looks good. I can't complain. You know? Can't complain. I feel over the last several years, I've been intentionally trying to make my life the easiest way to describe is less dramatic. I'm okay with boring. In the sense that, you know, I don't need drama to make me happy. I have a lot of friends and family that they're full of drama. And I'm not jealous of the drama. I'm not. So that's good sometimes. People can have their drama if they want drama. That's cool. But uh, if you want drama, feel free. I just don't want it. Don't need it. And that makes me happy. I just don't need it. And, uh, I've been, especially now that I'm, I'm really happy where I'm getting back into painting, I haven't played as many games of this edition of 40k as I wanted to so far, but that's not bad. It's early on still. And heck, like right now, all, every other week the point changes or you know everything's changing as well so who cares you know it's a good time to have fun learn the rules again your mo your armies have changed in points already like five times <laughs> uh, I play knights so I did get a game of knights in a couple nights of games under the uh, fun rules not a fan of the new ones whatever There we go. Cleans up a bit. Purity seals two. Just makes it and the chest piece, the uh, chest symbol. Perfect. But this is honestly one of the happiest I've been in. I'm not like I've ever been truly miserable or anything. But I, I gone through, you know, life. Life is full of ups and downs and trials and tribulations. I can honestly say that this has been a good time lately. And it's good to sometimes just stop what you're doing and appreciate the positives in life. You know what I mean? Another one done. Cool. Final one. I'm going to finish after this step, just because it's getting a little uh, late, and uh, basically as a rule of thumb, for every minute of video that I make, it's two hours of rendering. So for, sorry, no, sorry, that is not right. For every minute of video that I make, it's about two minutes of rendering. So it's going to take me about two hours to render this uh, video that I can put it out tomorrow. And of course, by the time it goes out, hurricane. Yeah. I'll let you know how that goes in the next week's video. Summer. I'm 
pumpkin spice, and hurricanes. Health, happiness, and hurricanes. That's what I'm going to call this video. There you go. I'm happy with this. That, look at that. It didn't take very long. It just cleans it up so much more. And then, of course, I'm going to go through with a couple more colors. I'll do a one-to-one -one mix of Screaming Skull and Shafty Bone and then Again. Didn't take very long. Awesome. I think it looks pretty good, especially for the amount of time it's spent. And let's end now. And that concludes another Painting with Jay. I really hope you enjoyed this week's episode and are enjoying Painting with Jay's again. Um, I know it was the most requested video series, me coming back, was Painting with Jay. So I hope you're having fun. I hope you had a great summer and you're avoiding a hurricane and you're reading your world of unpainted models. So stay tuned for more Painting with Jay. Until next time, this is Jay saying, happy painting with me.